Yes, nice. indeed, Harry. We're, we're getting into the action. It's Fnatic, it's Astralis, and boy, oh boy, is this Danish roster looking dirty as ever. That, those are some really dirty shots. Missing more than maybe you would hope, but Dupree, he doesn't miss. Two shots, two heads, and he's going to move in for a little bit more as the bomb's dropped on the floor, picked back up by Golden, but Dupree's getting spotted close to E-Box. He's even getting wrapped, and no team support. They're coming in through the connector. They're hoarding over the A site, and S-Tag and Bubski combine for a killer piece. It's going to be JW lurking in through B, but he needs to sneak, because they are going to hit. Here he goes, nice foul. He's ready, he's ready, man. JW, you got the talent out. Mm, little Velociraptor on the wrap round. Let's see what he's able to get done. Is he going to be the clever girl we're hoping for? Oh, well, this one. Do it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Star goes. And now a USP retrieve. Three points of health, though. That's all he's got to play with. And JW lines up the first man. Nate goes in. Maybe that's good enough to do the damage. But Bobski is nearby, ready and raring to go. It's Astralis getting that pistol round locked in. And already with Dupree lining up shots like that over towards main, I am a little bit worried as for the fate of Fnatic in this series. Yeah, I, th I think it's a safe assumption, right? Like, no matter how this series goes, I, 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 I do agree with what you said earlier, Harry, which I don't think, like, this is going to be the litmus test for Fnatic. I think they're going to show us a lot more in this tournament, or at least I hope they are. Uh, I just think Astralis right now are in their honeymoon period for sure. And boy, are they looking good while they do it. A long holiday, a month off. But Astralis, they didn't have it off. They uh, have been grinding in the server, cracking through the days. Double grenade into main. We'll find Golden first. Roland gets his Deeg out and looks for a pick, but Astralis aren't really offering up too much. Might as well fall away from that one. Head towards inner. Two players sit their device. Oh, it's a pistol round repeat. He's coming back in with the USP, but Crims wants nothing to do with it. And Fnatic is just playing with their food. Feels like Astralis. They're the hungry ones right now, though. Looking to take a big bite out of this eco as Fnatic yet to make up their mind. Looking like they're going to regroup back towards A. At the bare minimum, this is at least leaving two players on B for Astralis, but... You know, when you have Glocks and one Deagle handed over to Flusher, it's not really, you know, it's not really going to change all too much. This should not even be a contest. Fnatic are just stalling it out as long as they can. Oh, something's happening now. Magis. <laughs> oh, something is happening now. Magisk gets four, and that's the second round for Astralis. It's nice, it's clean, it's everything we wanted it to be. Fnatic coming in with their reinvestment here and now. Uh, it is going to be lacking an AWP, but that's not the end of the world, right? It's all well and good. You've got the AKs, you've got pretty much everything you need. Anything's better than three Glocks and a Deagle anyway. Especially AKs, they're coming out in high supply. Not a lot of grenades, but uh, Fnatic looking to go fast. Bobski even quicker. He took the spawn into the Pop Dog and mows down two as they come down the ladder slowly, but not surely at all. Fnatic in a very compromised spot. Majisk is even going to spam the smoke for the next. And the only saving grace is that JW is out of main, but Astralis are not only all over A, but also on a flank as well. Bobski looking to put the uh, final bullet in the back of the Crim uh, Crimson's head, but Majisk gets there first through the smoke. Of course he does does JW this spot now less useful especially with that flank Bubsy getting clean it up AK is getting given over to Astralis and they've got three of them in round number four plus the Orpon device who's yet to even get a kill we're waiting for that though he's got all the time in the world a fanatic always waiting in Olaf never waiting for Olaf those were the days <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's 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 a third round for Astralis and a very, very clean one at that. Really, like that was an incredibly dominant rifle round. Like, you know, everyone's had AK upgrades now as well. Device is donning the AWP. This is this is scary already. And we're, we're three rounds in. Now four as this one begins and ticks on over. 
It's going to be a B play from Fnatic with how things look right now. You've got JW. He can either try and sell a fake or come in a little bit later and try and rotate through CT to play around this bomb. So it options... Sorry, jury's kind of out as to how Fnatic want to play this one. A lot of that's just going to come down to JW himself. And he'll now peel away from Ivy, making just a bit of noise. So they use him to do that, to keep these players inside of the A site. Astralis playing very passively over towards B. S-Tag used to play over here in some of his former teams. So I was hoping we were going to see more from him, but he gets digged out right away. Device, tags flusher, but not the killing. Oh, oh another tag for Device. Is this, is this Scout? Scout? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, Hugo, mate. We're on a bit of a lag there between one another. Almost, uh, almost dropped the ball and golden. Holding inside of the site does get mopped up by Bubsky. We're into a three on three. Flusher up here has Crims alongside him. Ooh, they're on it, sticking on the smoke. Oh, there's a quick trade. They actually take him off the bomb as well. JW firing off through the smoke to take down Magist. This eco could go better than expected. And Dupree, he needs to get on that defuse before the smoke phase. Crimson is playing from the top, but the shot's not connecting. Oh dear, it's a full defuse. The kill is there, but it won't make a damn difference. AK saved, but the round picked up. It's Astralis going 4-0. I like that from Fnatic, right? They make it work. They make it close. They do everything except win the round. But uh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't bode well when Astralis are keeping up their streak. Yeah, uh, and to note, again, I've, I've brought this up before, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it for those who weren't listening, uh, you know, uh, at home. Last two times Fnatic played Astralis at EPL and at RTR, they won twice. That being Fnatic, beat them twice in a three-map series. Those were with... Oh, Bubsky, come on, buddy. You did it last time. Don't do it again. A double mow down in the Pop Dog. Things just get better and better by the second. Last ditch attempt into B, but Dupree has already taken up position in Pop. He can come in on a fast flank in through the back line, and they don't really know as to his whereabouts right now. This does leave S-Tag alone over towards the B side of the map, but with these players already tagged up, I'm really looking at Brolin there. They're going to struggle to get on in. They need this kill, and they need it pretty cleanly if Fnatic want a chance in this round. Here come the cavalry filtering out onto this B bomb site. That Molly's going to slow him down. They might have to push the smoke, and S-Tag is ready if that does go down. Brolin deep indeed, but a quick trade from S-Tag, who's already inside of the site, will find him. Dupree, fast flank. Crims turns around. He, oh, dear, the spray. What a transfer. Crims double checks it. He looks back, he looks away, and then he realizes what he just saw. But it's all too little, and it's all too late. Bomb plant denied, and the round will follow. Astralis up to five. Dear, oh dear, this team is terrifying. It's an interesting one with Fnatic because what it took them to get out of their 2019 slump was the fact that they needed to change players. When Fnatic just lose all ideas, lose motivation, it takes a lot more than winning a couple of series to bring them back. And I'm seriously concerned about this team now. Even though it is only the first series that they're playing here at ESL One Cologne, it seems to not bode well for this team. Yeah, I, I, like I said earlier, I, I hope, I hope this isn't the, you know, what we're going to see from Fnatic this tournament, right? I do hope also that this is exactly what we continue to see from Astralis. So, you know, we'll, we'll find out, I guess, as we move into Cologne, whether this is just the trial by fire for Fnatic or, you know, if, uh, if they're underperforming, who knows? Well, we do know that you're absolutely heartless, Hugo. So yeah, I guess. We're learning some things today. Nothing's changed. Is Bobsky going to kill two in the pop dog? Let's find out. We've even got this double AWP as well. Still looking deadly. And this time, Bobski isn't in pop. He's holding it from E-Box. So, doesn't seem likely for him to get another. Actually, he's moving closer. He's looking like he wants to go in. So, you know what? I don't want to tempt fate here, but Bobski in this position again. Ooh, Flusher. I don't know, man. Like, the, the history here is not great between the attempts at Pop Dog and the success at Pop Dog. Bobski's had enough. He's looking to expand his horizons. Flash into main, and Brolin gets bested. Bobski finding it. He is all over train. He's going to set Dupree up in pop. He moves in now. This bomb is still back outside of main. Device has finally put a kill up on the board. He has six assists, by the way. He's just been legging everyone with the AWP. A second kill for Device. Flusher 
in with one. This B site may be opened up if Flush is able to make a bit of a stand here, but that bomb is so far away. Although, that said, like Flush has done what he was meant to do in this round. He's kind of throwing the whole hold into disarray by showing his hand over at the B site. Crim's now in main, creeping in towards A, while Flush is still trying to sell this B fake. Magis here with the AWP, gonna shut him oh. down. And this leaves Crims in a very, very rough spot indeed. Is it ever gonna get easier? Probably not. Crims, one fight to find is Bubsky in con side. He's gonna get it. Plot can come through, but Dupree is running up the halls to try and get down Pop Dog. He won't be able to stop the plant, but they will be able to just chase him from all three positions. Dupree immediately fights the second he can, and that's gonna be the fight that wins Astralis the round. The Vice getting two, as you say, finally getting on the board with something more than an assist. And it, it's got to feel good that Astralis can go 5-0 up uh, on train, on the CT side, while the Vice is 0-3. Of course, that's not going to last for long with him now finding a couple of kills. Fnatic with a bomb plant are able to buy up moving forward. JW can afford the AWP without head armor, but he'll go back to the AK instead. And this is a great beginning for Astralis on Fnatic's map pick as well. I don't think there's any map that is going to be easy for them on. This is why I thought it was Astralis's map pick. I completely forgot it was Nuke. Because any map apart from Mirage, it's Astralis's to lose. Yeah, and it's nice to have that feeling, you know, starting to creep back in because you know, during the, the snappy Yugi kind of uh, timeline for this Astralis squad, it didn't, and even towards the end of like Glaive and Zipnix before they took their break, Astralis did start to feel vulnerable again, right? So it's nice for a team where, where any kind of like pressure of being removed was basically absolved just on the back of their constant results and even little drops, you know, you were never that worried. Uh, it's kind of nice to see them pressured and having to adapt to, to a new environment. Like they were never, never going to make changes just out of the blue. So it's a nice way for us to see, well, what would this three-man core of Astralis look like had they ever made changes? So now we have uh, Fnatic stacking up outside of B in this round. It's S-Tag and it's Device to try and hold the line. JW is once again an Ivy. This is how they played that, that uh, Deagle round earlier on. And so they're going to throw this utility in towards BJW is meant to keep players at the A site. Device is here to help S tag out. He tries to get ahead of the molly and oh, golden. B hop into the bomb site, takes the head off of S tag. Bomb now planted in a four on four. Definitely a chance for Fnatic to find their first round here and now. Yeah, without a doubt, the lack of utility, however, could be a bit of a problem. They need to win gunfights, and you don't want to be the first to, to go wide and to take a peek into waiting AWPs. Two of them still standing at the back of the site. There's the flank, JW gone. Bubsy sees the feet, but Golden finds the head, and Dupree needs to get this kill quickly, but Flusher won't let it happen. Golden spraying and praying, but it's Device with a quick shot, and they can just get on this bomb. Magis needs cover. He's already sticking it. He's got a kid as well, but his head is poking up through. Maybe he should have crouched on that one and it's going to be Fnatic's first round finally getting something on the board Flusher should survive and he will just about so yeah I, I think imagine well the smoke first he was on the ground and like the the bomb was on top of the on, on top of the train but maybe if he crouched he would have uh he would have been a little more hidden but that's an easy spray anyway for Flusher Flusher spraying smokes he doesn't see smokes so you know there's no problem there and winning that clutch for Fnatic is huge as well, especially considering how late that flank from Dupree was. Like most teams wouldn't expect that, but Fnatic very aware, especially with this double AWP for Astralis. I also wanted to talk about, even though they, they lost the round, um, how proactive Astralis are being in the early round on this A bomb site. There are two ways to play train as a T. You either like want to play out those spawns, right? Drop pop quickly and run out main, which Fnatic have tried and it's gone very badly for them. Or obviously just slow down, group up, go for either a B execute or split A from three different positions. Well, when Fnatic aren't running out A immediately into Bubsky, uh, Astralis are extremely proactive. They're double nading main, they're smoking deep main, they're flashing each other into into pop into tcon and uh, they're, they're just getting a lot of information a lot of map control early and what that's doing is freeing up these rotations towards b they were very ready for that b hit they'd already cleared out every position on the a site so it's nice to see astralis not just sitting back and waiting but neither a fanatic they're running right out into the yard 
Yeah, JW with the opener, Brolin alongside him. And oh, look at this, Fnatic have roared to life here in this round. Bobski, what can he do from inside the site? He's getting pressured from everywhere. Flash goes in, but he goes down. And it's Brolin besting him in the head-to-head. S-Tag is left having to rotate into a 1v4. It's never going to happen. Fnatic and all the excitement, they forgot the bomb. They go back, they <laughs> grab it, and that plant's going to come on in. S-Tag hasn't had a lot of fun in this game yet. Like, he's still waiting patiently. It's not the same as Nuke, where him and Bubski, they had their chance early on to show what was up. Uh, you know, I think I, I always figured that S-Tag within this squad over on train would be playing this B-Anchor role. Um, and and it's kind of sucked for him thus far. Like, whenever they've come B, the Fnatic's utility has been really, really good, and he struggled to have much done. And now in this round, when they lose A, everyone dies so quickly that S-Tag doesn't even get to play the round. Uh, that, that can always be a bit of a problem, especially for like a newer player within a team, because I feel like it's good to keep them warmed up, especially for when that second half eventually does roll around, because it is inevitable. You do have to play it. And if your whole experience has been dying immediately on B or saving in an A retake, you, you go into that second half it kind of like at a huge disadvantage to everyone else in the server. So let's keep an eye on that one. It's nice to see Fnatic not rolling over and dying, you know, getting a couple of rounds in a row and building money and having that AWP for JW. I like that change of pace as well, right? You know, Astralis have been triple mollying A in a lot of the start of the rounds, but Fnatic, they, they really don't care. And they know they just need to wait for the right time when they think Astralis aren't going to be ready for just four players running out of T-Con. And, you know, especially when you're winning rounds as a CT side, um, you know, getting caught off guard by that is, is, is eventually going to happen. And Fnatic, they hit the timing perfectly. Zeus up, Device, trying his best to get JW back. Benching after that game on Nuke in the early stages. S-Tag on the ladder, the one rifle, making all the risks. Oh boy. Oh, if he went up now, he could do something. Like, he could get away with something gross. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. That's Flusher it. goes down. A bit of a ladder stall from S-Tag. That's one kill. Any more, S-Tag? Any more up your sleeve? Brolin's coming in on the wrap. Device yeah. deletes Golden with a Zeus. S-Tag now caught by Brolin. AK retrieved for Dupree. Detective Brolin, will he spot the clues that that AK's gone? He has, and Dupree faces the same fate as S-Tag. That's huge. He had the bomb as well. If he dies there, that's the round done, considering Device also has an AK back in spawn. So. Yeah, that's big from Brolin. Very patient. Um, you know, I don't know if he knew about the second player, considering, yeah, okay, he climbed up the ladder very fast, but there was no one there to hear the audio cue. So, yeah, you know, very aware. Very aware. Brolin, always an impressive player, especially for how young he is. Can't even say inexperienced anymore. Fnatic have won championships. Like, they've been at the top. So... For his age, definitely one of the most experienced players out there. And it shows in the server today. Fnatic finding a third, not give, going down without a fight, Harry. Yeah, finally starting to assemble a T side, right? Piece by piece. It was never going to be easy, especially not with Astralis getting off to a 6-0 start. But if you are Fnatic now, you're kind of right where you want to be. You're starting to get a bit more confident. You're starting to make Astralis kind of be the ones to force their hand to do some unorthodox, uh, you know, decision making, like with S-Tag going up the pop dog ladder, uh, stuff like that. I know he's taking a risk because he has the one rifle, but I feel like, you know, the pressure's starting to be applied. And that's what you want. Like, you want Astralis to be crumbling, especially on the CT side, where, where they can just get reset time and time again. Fnatic, they want to start chaining rounds together. And they've been doing a good job of that thus far. They're going to try and take this pop position. Bobski this time is tagged down very, very low. He's waiting for the challenge from Flusher. Now, Golden has gotten deep, but Device does rid them of him. JW in with oh, one, and Bobski going to wallbang Flusher out of the round. That's the second time that's happened to him. Flusher hates Pop Dog right now. And oh, JW isn't ready. <laughs> Bobski's going aggressive. Uh, he's so confident. Yeah. Like, Bobski, who are you to come into Astralis up against Fnatic and just be pushing absolutely everything? I love it. I love the confidence on him. Brolin and Crims, the last two players remaining, and they're going to try and seep in through Ivy. They get past Dupree, but can they find 
The other pieces of the puzzle that will be required to pick this round up. And Bubsky's on a long rotate as well. So it's actually just S-Tag alone on the site right now. He knows where they're coming from. The audio given away from the flashbangs. Device coming in from Old Bomb as well. And there's no one pushing Ivy to take him down. They're both committing to the site. As Tag's backed up, and this is a safe decision. He's looking to play retake with his team, especially considering how Device is going to catch a player off guard faster than they realize, faster than they were ready for. Crim's gone as well. It's Device doubling, and with three in the round, that's Astralis back on the board. Great stuff from Bubsky and Device there. Like, it's just, yeah, the confidence to, to fully push up the ladder, uh, you know, take Wallbank Flusher, push up the ladder, flank T spawn, kill JW running up the stairwell. Bubsky's looked very confident in both of these maps so far, and the results are there 7 3 for Astralis. Fnatic at least got a boatload of money, right? Bomb plant off the back of a couple of oh, three rounds in a row, so they can buy up moving forward for the next couple. And like, that's already the difference between someone like Bubsky and someone like Yugi when they were in this squad, right? It felt like Yugi, you could kind of see the pressure to like stay within the lines, you know, like color within the lines for him and uh, and try and like lean on the safer side a hell of a lot. Whereas Bubsky is clearly very, very confident in his ability. And I, I kind of get like this vibe that he feels like he's earned this. He's, yeah, he has, right? Fair play to him. Oh, come on. Come on, Bubsky. And yeah, finally they deal with him. Flusher gets revenge from beyond the grave. Burns out Bubsky. It's not exactly the revenge he was hoping for. He would have loved to have just not died in the first place, but still, it's a four on four for Fnatic, and they finally dealt with the nuisance that is Bubsky in Pop Dog. Yeah, smoke up Ivy, but just going to try and peek as the Molotov pops. He's hanging around, but he can't stay there forever. Just one shot puts him down to 36 from 100. Device is still holding main, but no one entering. Fnatic are going up towards those toilets. Brolin. Gonna be going to pick up the bomb. This looks like a B play right now, but they can always come back down that pop dog and split with uh, the Ivy player of JW. He's 10 health with the AWP on Ivy. Not in a good spot by any means. So we'll see if he's gonna be the first man out or rather the lurk on the back of the B execute here for Fnatic. That seems to be the case more and more. And again, Astralis, you know, they've got proactive positioning. They've got T-Con. So they know that right now, A seems very unlikely. And S-Tag, he said he's not having a lot of fun. He's playing safe. That's exactly what he should be doing. Spotting towards B with a Molotov ready to cut off any kind of cross or bomb plant. And at 20 seconds, you don't want to die if you're S-Tag. Here come the T's down the ramp. And just he's already on rotation. He's going to scope up too late. They've already taken him down. But S-Tag could uproot this entire round from the oil. Oh, for Bro with Blo Brolin. He's going to win that one out. Dupree now in the clutch. 1v2 needed. Does Ooh. dispatch of Brolin, leaving the pressure on Crims at ramp. Bomb planted in a spot that Astralis have struggled with time and time again. And in a 1v1, this is a, this is a pretty rough spot to be in for Dupree. He throws the smoke down onto the bomb, but once again, it's too shallow. These plants up on the bomb train have betrayed Astralis time and time again. Crims peeks out, gets the damage, and for Dupree, that's enough to decide this isn't worth it. He backs away. It's a fourth for Fnatic. Astralis not able to hold on to that B site once again. Yeah, that's the right call for Dupree, actually. I, you know, a lot of players, once you realize you've lost the round pretty much, like try and hunt the kill or even hang around or even try to stick the bomb. Like there's just no way he's winning that versus Crims. And I like the fact that, you know, Crims has always been that last guy alive up in, you know, rafters, up in heaven on B in these post plants. Well, now he switches it up. He comes down the ramp and you could see how dedicated uh, Dupree was to expecting him on upper. So yeah, Crims keeping it fresh, keeping Keeping Astralis on their toes, that's not an easy thing to do, but it is done. Bubsky's going back to pop, he's got the Mag 7, but he's also blind as a bat. Crims is going to quick frag him out as he finds himself on the E-Box. Brolin follows up too, and even though there's damage done onto Golden, no kill in response. Fnatic in a 5 on 3, running rampant over this A-bomb site. Crims with another, it's only the gist left in A. S-Tags drop down the ladder for one, drawing their attention for the time being. Maybe this will give some room for Magis to move. If he's able to spot JW, that gives S Tag so much more room to work oh, with. That's only the tag somehow from JW. Now S Tag can uh, get out. Oh, um, okay. He's shooting peas, Harry. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's the thing. You had to give Magisk more than just one of his five a day, if that's the case. He does still get the kill, and that is going to force S-Tag to save. It got a little bit worrisome, but Fnatic, they get that fifth round on the board. And so crucially, now they've already hit that, that same point as they did on Nuke, and now they can get beyond it as well. If they wanted to take us all three maps, this is how they had to do it. Yeah, this is more than doable now for Fnatic with Astralis' money being low as well, right? Like, this is a competitive game. Nuke may have been, you know, very upsetting, uh, very scarring for the Swedes, but here on Train, their map pick, their chance to show us what they got. Don't count this out as a three-mapper here. Astralis aren't looking unbeatable right now. I don't know how JW... You can see, actually, you can see the bullet hole in the wall there that he's looking at. He shoots Magis with the AWP for, like, 40, 50 damage through the corner of main. So... Yeah, almost, uh, almost bottles it, but luckily it's still around for Fnatic with a plant on the A site. Astralis broke, but not going to be a hindrance by any means. Dupree with a scout takes down Golden. Do they know that Brolin is out, however? No. No, they don't. That's a bit of a surprise. Estag going aggressive, not able to get that kill. That might have made all the difference, really. Like, if he even gets away with one there, just, just makes Fnatic reconsider, leaves them in even odds, but instead he goes down with nothing. Doesn't even spot the uh, the second man in Flusher about to round the corner. So, Device comes rotating round. He's going to hear these footsteps of players moving into position. Device and his Deagle, what can he offer in this round? Down inside of B, odds heavily stacked against him. Rotation coming in from Dupree and Magisk. That scout... If it's able to tag a few of these players, maybe there's a chance Device gets away with more than he should be allowed to, but this is still geared towards being a Fnatic round. There's a kill, oh. Dupree. Quick work of JW, more players out into the fray. Everyone up on the rafters and Device falls. It's all on to Dupree, helped out by Gravity now as he gets himself down into a 1v2. Brolin still on upper, Dupree. Both these players are tagged, this is doable. Albeit very unlikely, Flash goes in and that lets Flusher get out. Dupree, USP, 1v2, time ticking away. These are all things stacking the odds against him. He's looking for Flusher and he's narrowed it down, but Flusher gets the info as well and he's going to solidify the round. Six on the board for Fnatic and that attempt at the partial investment doesn't quite give the results Astralis were hoping for. Oh, dude, it gets scary though, doesn't it, right? Dupree finding a headshot and uh, the, the gravity taking down another as they fall out of upper. If Device just gets one kill there with a Deagle, then that's a, a very winnable round for Astralis. But yeah, an eco and they get good damage nonetheless. It's still pretty successful. Fnatic though, beginning to take control of this map, a world where they can take eight and a half. That's going to be a good T side if so. We'll see what they can do. JW... Quick naded in main, he sees the cross, but he's double scoped on deep ivy, so he won't be able to hit the shot. Dupree still above the train and looking for these engagements if Fnatic get out through T-Con. Device in the meantime dropping one on B. There's Dupree with a quick headshot. Only takes one bullet thanks to the nade earlier, doing damage to JW. Brolin committing, but Bobski, he's not in the pop. He's out on the wall and he is pinning Fnatic 2-1 of it, uh, their own. Golden in a one on five, blink and you miss it. This round is looking done. Throws the AWP away. And now just looks to really do anything. Uh, and even that, like even getting one kill is going to be hard enough here. Magisk has eyes on Olaf. Device is just peeking into main. The bombs dropped out in the open. This is rough. This is really rough. And it's rough for anyone, but let alone Golden, the man who's you know used to, to leading the, the rest of the squad. Well, now he's going to try and be the big time fragger. Molotov to try and force anyone off the top of blue. There's no one there. I mean, there's no right way to play this goal, and I'm so sorry you're in this situation, man. Man just gets an eighth on the board for Astralis as they get that A play dealt with in a very, very good fashion. Bobski's so cheeky. He was sitting close main, and he was pressing reload, swapping weapon, pressing reload, swapping weapon, just to make the sound cue, like, I'm right here. Come at me. Come peek me. Because obviously there are like four Astralis players watching main all ready for the swing. What a middle finger, dude. This guy's, this guy's hilarious. And I love watching him play. He's top of the server right now. And yeah, his debut on Astralis going damn well. Him and S-Tag doing the job right. JW, oh, poor guy. Hit with the orb, hit with a grenade. In the fire and flames, there's just no escaping A-Main. 
to Stralis with a man advantage as Fnatic head in towards B. Oh my god, now you're hitting wall bangs. Give him a chance, Bubski. Flusher really hates Pop. Like, Bubski <laughs> has just been wrecking him like that. He's not even in Pop Dog. And he's still hitting players in Pop Dog. Here comes the B play. S tag. Gonna try and hold the line once again. Now, a couple of guys are already up and past him, and he's Ooh. not ready for that. Brolin gets Hello. one. Flusher and Crims both help themselves to the buffet. Magisk and Device two on four in the retake. That nade. Lots of damage onto Brolin, but is that going to be enough? Device moving in through CT. Hard pressed to find much, but down goes Prim. Brolin tries to swing, but jumps the gun a little bit. And as a result, one player does get away, but there's the uh, the dealing with Device. Magisk gets caught, and Brolin solid. Uh, what they're made of right now here on train. 8-7 up in the first half, and now T-Side. I'm more excited for this than anything. What have they got up their sleeve? Their nuke T-Side was rampant. 10 rounds to their name. They're looking for a little bit less, but Dupree, a little bit more. Finding JW off the back of the flash, and Brolin uh, posts up right as he leaves, but Dupree is not ready for the re-aggression. And uh, Bubsky getting tagged on the drop but the USP, 99 damage. But Astralis is still out into this B bomb site. S Tang returns the favor, sending a dink the way of Flusher. Bubsky is gone, but there's still a chance for Astralis. The plant. Yeah, they've gone aggressive here with S Tag and Device. And Device is really like putting emphasis on the aggression part of that statement. He is wrapped into CT, he's having an identity crisis. He's going back now, going to try and help out. S-Tag falls, Device though. He has this round in the palm of his hand. How much can he do? There's one. Ooh, oh, that's it, just one. Magisk all alone. He falls shortly thereafter. Crims has a kit, so Fnatic, they get the pistol round locked in and they tie us up at eight to eight. I think Astralis are probably expecting flanks there. They, they did not seem gets that information, right? There's just no noise being made by Fnatic. They're creeping in through that tight back CT choke point, not even coming through Con, uh, where S Tag is, you know, sitting at least keeping an eye on. So yeah, nice round for Fnatic. They they certainly catch off Astralis off guard, even with device on that big rap round. So nice stuff from them, keeping in control of this map and maybe even series, who knows? Inferno is our third map if we get there. Fnatic are gonna have to work hard to do so, but Astralis forcing up in the second after a bomb pod. Dupree's AK, oh dear. Yeah, if that was, uh, maybe, maybe Astralis getting a taste of their own medicine in the pop dog for a change. Device is gonna take down J JW on Ivy. And there's still three rifles intact and alive for Astralis, so don't count them out of the woods yet. Damn, Dupree shut down. Doesn't get to play into the round with the AK. Bobski, does he master pop in both directions? He does best Brolin there on the drop down. Magis getting burnt and tagged up by Golden. Flusher trying to go aggressive. This bomb's actually gone back into main. Astralis don't have to commit to A. Oh. Bobski actually rotates into the B site. Now, this is where Flusher can make all the difference. He's up pop, he hears the rotations. They've got knives out, they're not even considering it. And Magisk and Device both face the same fate. Bobski tries to come back up ramp now. Roll reversal as he has to best Flusher. Flash goes out, it's a bit chaotic. Oh. Bobski, oh, it's not nice when the shoe's on the other foot. Flusher gets his revenge on that little rivalry. rivalry that accumulated between him and Bubsky in the first half. And he gives him a taste of his own medicine with the pop flank. The old curb stomp. Yeah, Flusher, uh, yeah, he, he's, he's, he knows what he's doing, this guy. Astralis, they think they found the solution, but right as they back up out of A, he pushes into the pop dog. Not only, not only just hearing Bubsky taking B and coming down that ramp, but even being ready for the fact that they just saw the bomb in main, it's got to cross past him. So yeah, good information from Fnatic. Astralis on an eco here in round number 18, and Fnatic's chance to get double digits first as well. So this is not nuke, that much is clear. JW dunking Bubsky. There's a trade in the pop dog as Golden gets overwhelmed while flashed. Quick shot for Magis, but needs to go back up the ladder as a Molotov lands inside. And Crimson's even gonna drop one of the two players in main. There's more where that came from. Ooh, device. Only taking a bit of damage from the nade. 
JW looking to part some more onto him. He will do exactly that. And Magis, oh, he's got a timing. He could plant B. Players up in heaven. If Magis reads this, he could plant on the left side of the site. But why would you know the Flusher is lurking up high? You wouldn't. He'll drop down and save the round. It's Fnatic with a 10. <laughs> no money given to Astralis. He's just making sure he's dead. Yeah, I think, uh, I think he was. If I had to guess. But yeah, no, Flusher, you can never be too careful. Yeah, wouldn't be the first time Astralis have risen from the dead. This is what we saw in that last map. 8 to 10. And Fnatic in the lead. It's Rifles back out for the Danes. Device donning the AWP. And early on, lots of players over here towards B, but a couple back in main. Ooh. Three players for Fnatic in the upper halls, ready to try and take this aggression. This is going to be a bit of a bloodbath. And down goes Flusher. The follow-up had to come through. Now, they won't expect JW, right? You've dealt with two, and there's no way you're anticipating that he's just waiting here. So this round is in the palm of JW's hand. He's waiting. He sees the bomb. Oh, does dear. find it. Not the most convincing from JW, but he nails it the second time around. Now he's secured this B-bomb site. Freeze up time for Crims to come rotating round. Drops a Molotov. Device can't go peeking just yet to get the trade. Ooh. He tried to. He tried to get cheeky with it, but the molly spreads and tags him up. So now JW knows there's a man still in these upper halls. Dupree is wrapping through the A-bomb site in the meantime, but that's what Crims is here for. He has read this one well. Fnatic, they are poised to get an 11th round. It's really Astralis who uh, are, are in the rough spot here. Yeah, this is risky as well. Dupree, like, you know, it's important that he checks the CT spot, but you know how open you are to the ramp. Device is coming through in the smoke, and so this is very well timed. JW looks away as Dupree comes through. Even if Crims gets this trade, Dupree's now been freed up to at least check the angle. Crims is patient with his shot, and it will pay off. A one-on-one -on -one now with a bomb secured. Flashback in. No grenades left in this round. It's up to the gunfights and nothing less. Device versus Crims, both tagged up. Device with the AK. Oh, he's hit the timing. He's crossed out. Crims, does he know? He seems aware. He's to jump up, but Device hits the shot. That little bit of extra health saves his bacon. And nine points of health remaining as Astralis take their ninth round. I love the Triple B though, like Fnatic, they're not going down without a fight. They read the round so well, and JW plays it perfectly. Bubsky even initially looks it up when he comes down the ramp, but yeah, turns around, gets shot in the back of the head, and Astralis somehow, some way, claw that back into their favor. So we're all even again. We're all tied up almost. Just one away from Astralis getting to that 10-10 scoreline. And that's that's what I want. I want this to be a long train. And, and then really, I would love to have a third and final map of Inferno. I think I speak for all of us when I say that. This is the series I don't want to end. Crims holding on to Pop Dog. There's players up above it. He knows that. They're spamming on through. He's going to drop this smoke. Try to play around it. Bubski. Yeah. He's, he knows his way around a pop dog. JW homed in on Ivy in the meantime. Flash goes out, and that's going to get him off the angle. He goes back in for a re-peek. Doesn't see anything yet. So Ivy control taken here for Astralis, and this is a lot of ground to have. Crims is so blind. Good vibe, and Brolin there to pick up the pieces. Flusher on the CT rotation in the meantime. Spots players, but isn't able to get a shot off. Device now homed in on the angle, holding, hoping that the peak comes his way, but a missed shot. Back into the A site he goes. Brolin, no oh, just about staying alive. Oh, Golden's like, no, no, no. We, we go pop. It's fine. Brolin's really not convinced. He keeps looking back. Ushers in connector, bomb getting planted. Problem for Astralis here is they really like don't know where Fnatic are. They can be anywhere. They lost pop earlier on, so they have to worry about main, even though that's not where a push is coming from. They don't have that information. Yeah, Device has just taken that spot though, no longer worrying about his plan. Brolin, quick kill to Dupree. They're expecting Device in this position. Brolin's on for the ace. It's only Majisk on two points of health. No grenade to stop him, but up the ladder they go. And Flusher sends it right back. Fnatic with just enough time for the defuse. Ace denied, but not an issue. 11 rounds to nine. That was a great, uh, great round for Brolin, man.
The fact that he's uh, he's able to, you know, not only trade both players down the pop dog, but even clear out the orb and the player in the sandwich post plant. Fnatic is spraying bodies like there's no tomorrow, and there might not be if Astralis get their way. Roland, you highlighted as our player to watch coming into this game, Harry, and you're definitely not wrong. He's been the standout player here for Fnatic in this series. And that's what we kind of come to expect from him. Astralis relegated back down to pistols and armor in this round. And they're going to try and secure Pop Dog, but to do that, you have to get past the man in question. Brolin just lying in wait, patient as ever. There's the drop. Bobski <laughs> with the deagle drops with the nade. And that's Pop Dog secured. I love this head to head of like Bobski versus just anyone in Pop. It's such an interesting fight to watch. JW's gone aggressive here outside of B in the meantime. S tag. As bait the shot out, they know that JW is here. He just spotted the bomb there on that peak. And now he looks at the ramp, but they can wrap him from upper if they're quiet about it. While all this is going on, Astralis still have players in main throwing utility in, trying to draw players back into this site because it looks like it's still a B commitment right now. And these players from main have rotated background, but you can see Astralis, they pumped the brakes. Magis being deleted already from this server is actually all right, because he can take a look at everyone's POVs and, you know, have like an understanding firsthand of how the round is looking right now. Unfortunately, in all that A utility that you talked about, the grenade onto the site of Golden, it's actually forced Fnatic back into A. They, they move away from this double inner setup. They set up on Ivy, which is exactly where Astralis are coming from. And they've even got the info as well. So Fnatic have run into this one very well. Crims with one, Dupree is low, and that's an easy kill to double up with. They're going to look for a B plant, but Flusher with a grenade, he can finish off the job here. He's going to get planted. Bubsky trying to cover the spray, missing, and he jumps as well. Not, uh, not by intention, I'd imagine, but regardless, it's Flusher finding two on the retake. Crims with three in the round, and Fnatic with 12. This is looking like a three-map series, if I don't any, uh, know any better. Unless Astralis come alive moving forward into these gun rounds. There have been some close ones so far in this T side, but with only one to their name, Fnatic are in control of their map pick. This is sick, by the way. The amount of different ver uh, variety of how we see players drop into pop. Like, look at how Brolin's vision gets eluded by the grenade. It just, you know, catches you off guard for a millisecond. And that's all you need to drop in and hit the headshot. If you're Bubski, at least. Probably don't try that at home. It won't go anywhere nearly as well as you think. The thing is, we have to bear in mind with Astralis as well, is they barely had any time as this five stack. They did have a boot camp, but their boot camp in included camping and canoeing. So it's not like they've been strengthening their entire map port, and we still don't know which maps they've actually prioritized apart from Nuke, Hugo. Yeah, that, that was pretty much clear from the last uh, the last game, but maybe train not as clean cut, not yet at least. But again, at 12-9, this game isn't done. I wonder if while they were camping, they got to have any bub skis, pop dogs, because I hear they're the best. Uh, Brolin going to try and hold on once again. Oh, ooh, bub skis down. He's, look at him. So many men. Look at him. He's such a little menace, man. Look, Brolin don't even know. They're baiting oh, him with dead. the shots from S tag, and bub skis already here. Dead. Bub skis all. Oh, they're touching each other. Hello, Brolin's <laughs> gone. Bub ski gets it. Man advantage taken for Astralis, and now. Things get a little bit tricky for Fnatic. A man down, an uncomfortable spot to be in. Flashback for Crims, and oh, Bubsky's already up the ladder. He's already out of there. Is he going to go back? Bubsky, it's ballsy. You never go back. That's what everyone always says. He's going to drop the nade. Doesn't push with it. Crims gets tagged very heavily. Utility going over into the A site, but Fnatic, look at the read. They've wow. got three players in B. They are, they, they've read this one well. Crims deals with Magisk, Bubsky finding another, but will they be ready for Golden? It doesn't feel like it. And now up pop, Crims shooting into the back line device. Worst timing you've ever seen. And Crims, he's showing he's got the moves. He sneaks back down. And now he lies in wait. Device has got no idea. He's got no time either. 
It's a 13th round for Fnatic. That is unreal. The reads that Fnatic are making in this game are unparalleled, right? Like, the, they've had two triple B stacks. Oh, my. He even dies after time. The AWP and the money gone for Device. But two triple B plays on, like, two rounds that Astralis have hit B. These have been excellent. And right when, that, that, like, that looks like an A play. Astralis are faking it out with the utility. And Fnatic going, nah, I want nothing to do with that. I'm going to go B. Like, more often than not, you'll see team stack out mainly for the sole reason that B is an easier site to retake. Once you get the plant down on A and chances to move away between those trains, down Olaf, into Sandwich, there's just so many routes you can take and so many spots you can hide in as a little T in a post plant. So yeah, Fnatic, they, they've had great reads all game long, especially on the CT side. Astralis walking into stack after stack after stack. And, you know, even when Astralis get like an entry in, they think, great, let's plant. And then boom, there's another player behind spoil, uh, coils. So yeah, this is, a, this is a masterclass right now from Fnatic. I've also never seen so many different attempts of like pop dog takes in one game. Like, I feel like we've had like six different, six different attempts, not even attempts, like successful takes of the pop dog. From Do you Bumsky. think that's an attempt to just hold a little bit back for later on in the tournament, Hugo? Oh, I mean, they're showing it all now, Frankie. They're, they're putting it all out in the open. They ain't hiding a thing. I'd love to see if they have more, but uh, I guess we'll find out, right? But that's the cool thing. When you have that many ideas and, and that many different ways, if you're in Pop Dog, even if you know all the ways that Astralis are going to use, which one are they going to use? That's the question. Prims is looking for feet. He's got a bit of a fetish for him. And he gets one, but S-Tag barrels through. JW trying to hold down this ace site. Golden on the rotation and through connector. Runs through the molly and takes the head off of Bubski in the process. It's S-Tag. Now 1v2. Make that 1v1. And JW up through Pop Dog. Speed Demon. Very decisive. His mind is made up. He's rotating in through B and he's wrapping around somewhere else. Around the also, he's traded out his AWP for the MP9. Bit of a curious one here. Might look for something else. And this is, like, neither player really now knows what's going on. S-Tag is like, okay, he could be pop, he could be main, he could be B. And JW is thinking, well, I did just see him in Ivy, so uh, now they're going to realize, like, neither one of them really knows any idea what's going on. Both of them may as well be playing this round blind. There is absolutely no way you could know what's the right call here. S-Tag creeping over towards B. Whether or not he knows it, he will make the right decision if this is the site he goes waltzing into. No time to go elsewhere. He's got to get that plant in. 15 seconds left. He's come out through upper as well. He realizes, yeah, got to start running. Uh, screw it. Gamble. Just get that plant in. Make as much noise as you can. Hope that it's not been read. JW knows at this point, with no one being seen on the A site with 10 seconds, it's almost guaranteed to be B. And now it's a mind game. It's a waiting game. At least for S-Tag, he has not moved a muscle. Playing on top of the site, playing on the bomb, and using the audio to his advantage. JW making a lot of noise, climbing up the ladder. S-Tag trying to swivel around the site and JW throwing in a smoke. S-Tag hiding in front of it, and he's going to get the kill. JW may do a lot of damage, but a lot is not all of it, and it's going to be Astralis taking 10. And yeah, S-Tag, he's been pretty quiet in this game. He was playing inner on CT side. He wasn't really getting a lot of opportunities, getting a kill, getting traded, often just throwing utility. And we saw a lot of out of takes as well from Fnatic, where S-Tag was like coming in late to no avail. But that's a round that, you know, is huge for Astralis. That keeps them in the game. Fnatic have been all over the CT side. They were six to one prior to that round over, thanks to S-Tag. Yeah, you know, it's like that old idea that, like, if you're ever having a rough game, it's not about helping win all the rounds, it's just winning the rounds that you have to, you know? And, and that's what S-Tag provides there. 10 on the board for Astralis. Reinvestment in for Fnatic. Orp in the hands of Flusher, no less. And let's see, I imagine that's played out of spawn. It looks like he's got a spawn for, uh, for this Ivy Peak. And so he's going to be looking to deal with any main players that might come his way. Now, for Astralis, only one player survives there. And so their reinvestment in this round leaves a lot to be desired. Oh, JW's oh. got the Mag 7 Ooh. device down into Pop Dog. Makes quick work of it. Roland looking for an equalizer, and he will deliver it. Still getting pressured in his device with another. Crims responds to the call, and we're into this three on three. A site now is overwhelmed by Fnatic players in rotation. They've got all three here in A. Magisk 
creeping into the site, but he's not going to be short enough. He still takes the head off of Golden regardless. And this is where, you know, not having head armor because they figured they'd be up against AKs makes these Galils just as deadly as their big brother rifle. Flusher, good for one, spots another. In with the scope, but a missed shot. And this bomb's still out in no man's land. Flusher's going to try and play around Ooh. it. Oh, pow, and oh, there's the kill on Obomsky. Now, just the vice left uh -oh. to find, and he's on this lengthy rotation. Flusher with the mind games. Does he realize that that bomb's out in the open? Device wrapping in over towards Ivy. And you know, while Flusher hasn't like made the right gamble heading over towards B, this is as much of a question mark to Device as it is to Flusher. Neither one of them knows where the other's at. Device creeping in the bomb. Still down on this A side of the map, and Flusher is holding for a connector peak. Device, is he going to give it to him? Is he going to give up the peak? Could end the chance of the comeback for Astralis. Not right now. Bomb retrieved. Device. Taps the plant. Flusher running back. Oh. It's up on the bomb train. The nade could do it. Device tagged down, still alive into the 1v1. And Flusher, a lot to do. Just missing the timing up on the train. Oh, and it's wait. Device with the peak. 11 for Astralis. Try as Flusher might, it's not going to be enough. That's such a nice try from Flusher, man. Like may maybe you could argue that oh, him making the footsteps is such a risk, but he knows that last play is low. He tries to hit the timing, hoping Device is planting on the other side of the train. That nade almost kills Device. He sees it coming, he moves out the way, and you know, in Device's head, he's probably most scared of Pop Dog than anything because the last spot he saw Flusher was, you know, in the A site. He, ha he had the timing to wrap B and push, but Flusher didn't know the bomb was out in the open, and, and that was the big question. That's why Flusher just hung around in the connector and played for both sides. Nice shot from JW, doing some damage to the AWP of Device, but he's quickly removed from the equation. Oh dear, Dupree's doing maths, he's doing calculations, and he's got three. One through the smoke, one through the wall, and one in the face. Crims, quick tap back with the USP, but Dupree is on for the ace. There's only one man in the way of all of that, and it's Filthy Flusher coming in from the back line. Give it to him, Astralis. Give it to him. Let Dupree have his moment. I mean, he's had plenty of moments, but why not give him one more, you know? Like, what's what's the harm in that? Dupree's looking for it. He's smiling at me in his picture. I can feel that he's going to get it. And I swear, if S-Tag or, or, or S-Tag, you, you, you don't want to do this, man. You want to let Dupree have it. This guy could decide your fate on this squad. And Whoa. Dupree, it's not convincing. And uh, Magic steals it away. Magic is like, look, man, Dupree, you gave it your best attempt. But Flusher with the USP, he's a little tricky guy to deal with. Still 12 on the board for Astralis. And Dupree lighting up, up against the, uh, the anti-eco there. Great shot, and that's, again, confidence boosting for Astralis, right? We think that maybe Fnatic are somewhat in control, looking like they're potentially going to close out this map with a 6-1 to one lead coming into the second half. And then Astralis, three rounds in a row, in control. And now only one behind Fnatic on Fnatic's map pick in this series. Inferno, it could be an infer no thank you for Astralis if they get their way. JW with the scout again. Look at the push up for Brolin. He's so quick, so precise. And Dupree will be removed from the round. JW, scout, he's got to hit headshots here. They're coming up close. And there's an AWP on device too. So if this doesn't get smoked from Astralis, then this is not an easy fight for JW. And that's the issue. You get the tag, you instantly die because Magis can stomach a bullet or chest one too and still take you down. Astralis in a four on four. And even though Brolin has main great map control, he doesn't know that the bomb is just around this corner and Astralis are going to pick it up right now. Oh, Brolin. Oh, there it is. And the double up, S-Tag and Bubski. The two new boys on the block, they get taught a pretty harsh lesson there in what it means to be up against a man like Brolin. Device through this smoke, he's just bypassed 
Oh, Golden didn't even realize. Device gets one, and then he's like, whoa, jump scare. And there's Golden somehow. <laughs> Device terrified by what he's just seen. 14 for Fnatic. They're trying to keep the three-map dream alive. Inferno is on the horizon. This train is hurtling towards it. But our Astralis looking to derail the whole operation. There's only a few more rounds left to find out. Yeah, there's nothing worse than when you fire an AWP shot and they immediately get peaked, and you know that your only chance is your opponent whiffing. That's the only way you're living that. And then maybe you can hit the shot. Only maybe. Fortunately, no whiffs today, not from Golden. And, well, Fnatic, they are back in control. A quick responsive round after Astralis find a streak of three. Still money for Astralis. This is their chance with two AKs and an AWP. They've got to get it done, or this could just be dusted. And Inferno could be the finale to this series. Down in the Pop Dog, very fast. Roland's tucked close. Crimson has been tagged by the AWP up on the A site. Device is in main. He's peering out as well. Flash in the jump for Brolin. He gets one, but only one. And that's given an AK over to Esetag, who will be uh, picking that up with glee. Now Astralis are armed to the teeth. Uh, JW, he is taking out teeth, at least Device is. Dupree going to take a bite back with his dentures, and it's a three on three as still Crims is pushed up close. They're ready for it, luckily. Fnatic now caught out of the sight. It's all on Golden, really. Ooh. Golden gets the information, but to be the Golden God in this round, he's going to have to do more than just a bit of chip damage. Flusher wrapping on in. Got to come down on them like the crashing of a thousand waves. And he's going on a very long wrap in through main. Whenever Flush is on screen, we have to be quiet because he's always doing something sneaky. And that's what he's good at. You pre, not looking this way. That could be his downfall. Flusher sees ahead. Flusher sees ahead. Oh, there it is. Dupree goes down. Now the pressure's on. Magisk is stuck between a rock and a hard place. He's looking to deal with Golden, and he will. This leaves Flusher in a very tricky situation where this clutch feels impossible, looks impossible, and it's 13 on the board for Astralis. Lovely stuff. Yeah, Device doing a lot of damage with the AWP, even though the kills aren't there. And even though the rap comes through, you know, Golden, he's hoping the Flusher finds a good bit of value. And then once Flusher's position is given up, that gives Golden the room to move. But at that point, the bomb is so far ticked. Astralis have already taken their post plants. Uh, there's nowhere to go, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And this game continues to keep on giving. Fnatic won't give up. Astralis neither. And that's just the way we like it here at ESL One Cologne. Brolin's playing in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> He's 18, man. He's emo. Leave him be. Shut the curtains. Turn off the lights. You think when you make as much as he does, you know, you could stomach the electricity bill to have a light on <laughs> for the three hours that you're playing. But, you know, Brolin, that's, I like it. All playing focus. in the dark. We've all been there. I have Look at that. Sunshine and rainbows. I love the flex of the guy in the lower left as well. Like, he got the two big TVs, recliner chair all set up. That's brilliant. That looks great. I wish we had that set up, honestly. Yeah. Right, just pistols now for Fnatic. And we just saw the Danish fans out in full force. Where are the Swedes? That's my question. Device down here towards Ivy. Flusher getting spotted on the jump across. Now, JW's close. Oh, Zeus. He's going to struggle to get away with much. I was going to say, that's like prime Zeus territory, but he doesn't have one, and he gets bested almost immediately. So now, Fnatic 4 on 5, just the pistols. Another kill for Device, and he keeps the pace up. Now, Crims will deal with him, back in for Ooh. a bit more, and maybe biting off more than he can chew. Brolin is wrapping around through that ivy smoke in the meantime, and so maybe he can deal with Magisk at least. Makes his presence known, AK retrieved, but Magisk isn't missing a beat. And it's all on Flusher. 1v4. As much as this man so often does the impossible, this might be one where, rather anticlimactically, he doesn't. Well, you hit the nail on the head, and Flusher is dead. Astralis 
14-14. We're going the full distance, Harry, if not more. We've had our fair share of overtimes, three overtimes in the last series. So, hey, why stop there? Why not add a few more? I, I was going to say earlier, after that first map, after Astralis absolutely decimate Fnatic on Nuke, hey, they're making up for lost time. You know, they're, uh, they're speeding up the schedule. we got North America coming up next. But no, as much as I say that, well, now it's uh, not true. That being said, at least we got a competitive series, eh, Frankie? It's what we want to see. I mean, you did jinx it, Hugo, and it's entirely blamed on you that we're going to be late for 100 Thieves versus Genji, but that's fine because we've got some quality Counter-Strike underway. Let's see, Astralis. Are they going to be the timekeepers? <laughs> are they the ones keeping everything on schedule? This train running on time, or is it going to be Fnatic causing the delays? In which Oops. case, there will be a Bob's replacement service Running from 10 p.m. onwards. Bobski down here. The pop dog menace. Waiting for someone to make like a to the Star Wars Phantom Menace joke or something like that. But no one liked uh, that film, Harry. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was great. Here's the on it. Full A execute. Uh, round number 29, Brolin, he's hiding in the smoke. Oh, he's going to get the better of Bobski. It's uh, a nice welcome change, but maybe not for Astralis as they are getting slaughtered on this outer yard. Not a kill. Finally, S-Tag turns the tide of battle, but barely as Astralis gets sunk underneath. Fnatic, 15 to 14. They look to take us to Inferno. Astralis look to take us to overtime. What's your money on? At this point, my, my money is in my wallet because I'm not betting on the outcome of this one. Like, this is so neck and neck. I couldn't tell you who's going to take it, Hugo. Astralis have been fighting tooth and nail every every step of the way. And, and, and Fnatic, it just feels like even when, even when there's been this huge streak against them, suddenly they, they find it within themselves to, to respond and, and rally around it and start to find success again. And it, it, I just, I mean, I'm... I'm lost for words. This is such a good series. We've had two fantastic series to start ESL One Cologne. And if this is what day one is like, it just begs the question, like, it's only going to get better. How does it even get better from this? <laughs> We're not even in playoffs. We're not even, We're not at even day on day two. two. <laughs> Stop reading my brain, Harry. Dear, oh dear. I wouldn't want anything less, to be honest. Screw it, I don't need a voice. Let's just uh, let's just howl at the moon. 15-14. Not the best buy for Astralis, but all they can muster with the cash left in their pockets. Those uh, transfers cost a lot of money. Golden flash down Ivy. Device is ready for it. He may be blind, but it won't make a damn difference. Dupree with another entry out on A. And Astralis, they are causing commotion. They are causing a ruckus in this bomb site. Yeah, and overtime very much on the cards now, thanks to Device and Dupree. They could have been the timekeepers, or they could be the ones that destroyed it all, and that there is what Astralis are looking to do. Device still posted up, looking for even more. Flusher creeping and crawling over towards main. He's got JW watching pop for him. While this is going on, S-Tag is sprinting oh. into B. Flusher goes down, the shadow gives him away. JW, you can see like the terror on going up with a pop dog. Is Bobski here climbing up the ladder, getting worried? S-Tag certainly is though, and he's already in the B site. Crims bests him, and now they realize, well, it's probably not B. We've cleared our upper, we've cleared the B bomb site. Where does that leave? Oh, A, and that's where Astralis are. Three players are already inside of the site. One of those being Device homed in on this very long angle from Pop Dog. If Crim Crims tries to cross, Crims cross, he's going to be in for a pretty rough time. Device has just moved away, though, as the plant comes in. JW, if only he got that kill, this would have been salvageable. But it's nothing in the sort. Bubski shutting down the last two, only damage done. And while well, the damage is done to Fnatic Astralis, they grab right back as map point was taken by the Swedes. They won't let it fall to a third. Not yet, at least. There's still a chance we have the best of both worlds over time and a third map, there's still an opportunity. We'll have to wait and see. If I cross my fingers any harder, I would lose them, right? Like, I'm not even kidding. I, I hope that, and that's the thing, like if Astralis win, I'm not like upset or anything. I just want this series to go on even longer. So let's see. Astralis, they've grinded this one to an overtime. Double orps out for Fnatic. S-Tag clicking through Pop Dog, and already they've lost Dupree. 
burn. S tag falls as well. Bubski, the professional in this side of the map, didn't fall for it. And so he's still alive. He goes back over here towards the B bomb site. Magic's going to cross into Pop as well. Device in with a quick flick to find Crims. But they lose Bubski at B, and that forces them into this A play. Now, while this is happening, JW has wrapped in through Ivy and is coming in on a huge flank. So Device. Even with you know being outnumbered one on four, his problems are just beginning. Three players inside of the site, and then one flanking around. This should be Fnatic's all day long. Yeah, JW's waiting for the uh, pistol headshot. Device is low, and that's all it's going to take. Quick shot from behind, and 16 for Fnatic. They instantly get back on the board. Probably wondering, why didn't they just do that the round before? Well, sometimes it's never that easy. And Astralis, they have still got two more chances to find rounds here on this T side. Of course, eight, seven halves each in this uh, in this map in favor of the CTs. So it has just been a little bit more favorable, but I'd say seven round T side is damn good. Astralis, if they can get one, that would be fine. But Fnatic already in with a double AWP. I like that early on. We've not seen a lot of this in this series. Roland's pushed up. He's been very good in this spot with the Org as well. Scoped up, looking for the damage. Oh dear, it's labored, but it is a kill. Dupree going down early. And now Astralis moving up Ivy. JW's going to hear this. The smoke landing just in front of them. It means they're going to have to flash through or wait it out. And JW, this is a man you don't want to trifle with. Not a man you want to rifle with. And right now, he's using the no scope to take down any crazy Astralis players if they want to jump through. But I don't think anyone's doing that just yet. Biding their time, waiting for the fade. And now Device is going to Cyclops his way around the corner. JW onto the Deagle. And it's a hypnotic skin as well. Let's hope for a hypnotizing play from JW if there ever was a time. There we go, he recovers, Device hits the deck, and JW lives to fight another day. It wasn't convincing almost immediately, but he does stumble back to his feet, and Golden comes in with another S-Tag falls, and it's JW lighting up the scoreboard. 17 for Fnatic. And Brolin continuing to be the bane of Astralis' existence. You see, he was molded by the darkness. <laughs> Born in it. <laughs> didn't see Inferno until he was nearly a man. Well, now, trying to take us the distance, trying to take us all three, and I, I really hope that we get there. Yeah, it's looking, it's looking very likely at this point. I mean, I, I don't want to speak too soon, actually. It's only two rounds so far. The wall bang, it's going to connect onto Brolin's legs. Flusher pushed with a flick up. S-Tag will take him down, and Golden gets Dick needs to drop the molly before they hound him down and rush the B site. That won't be the case today. Think about the amount of stacks towards B that Fnatic have shown us in this map that were successful. It's been a while, but Astralis have been all over the A site in those final six or seven rounds of regulation. It did work wonders, right? It did get them to OT after after losing a lot in this T half, but they don't want B anymore. They've been scarred by the past, and instead they look to the future in this A site. JW is going to have to double back into it, and the smoking man, that's a real problem. Astralis, they're not going to go through. They had a chance to beat it, and actually, yeah, they will. Dupree creeping and crawling his way in. Luckily, there's no one in the A site. Fnatic, we talk about the gambles and their reads on B. Well, this one's wrong but it's not the end of the world. They have so much utility and the kits for the retake. But that just means Astralis get a free bomb plant. And with a man advantage and four Molotovs left up, they're going to have all the options in the world in this post plant. It's too good to be true, they think. Yeah, that is how it must be feeling right now. Like, we, we haven't... Guys, we haven't done anything, and there's no one here. Like, we barely even throw in utility outside of getting that kill early. They're, pa they're patting S-Tag on the back right now. Like, you, mate, you did it. You cleared the A site. Just that one kill and you've done it. So now, Fnatic setting up for a four on a five retake. JW close, but no cigar. Crims and Brolin both wrapping around over here towards Old Bomb Dupree, holding down the sight line from heaven. Crims is ready for it, but he gets wallbanged to death. There's the follow up, though. JW keeping Fnatic in this one. Now it's only him left, and Bobski's going to swing on out. 16 for Astralis, 17 for Fnatic. Still a chance. The train is a map that keeps on giving. 
Yeah, I mean, we got that second half at least, Harry, and with Fnatic leading, there's more series than maybe you're ready for. Strap in. We said that at the start of this one, and maybe it wasn't the case for Nuke, but this is as competitive as it comes. Obski has had a little team knife. We've all been there. Device getting stabbed in the back. JW's dropped pop, but Device scoped up. Will the low HP be a problem for him? Probably not. Ooh, he crosses out. The day's going to hit JW. So both the AWP is tagged up in, the, in this case. Magis also has an AWP. He's playing towards Ivy as well. So that's going to free up Device to be very mobile on the CT side. And that's exactly what he does best with this AWP. Magis getting crashed out. Bubsky the same story and pop. But he's got that deep Molotov above to buy him some time and buy him some space. He's even going to try and play with the ladder. What a mad lad. Magis dropping Golden down on Ivy. That's the 1A lurk. The rest of Fnatic are grouping towards B and Bubsky's just trying to be a nuisance but uh, might just fall out for the time being as Astrala still have this man advantage and uh, two players on this B site to hold. Yeah, this Molotov still on S tag as well could do a hell of a lot. The moment he hears footsteps, he throws that in. Actually, it's going to be the smoke from Device to open this up. And Fnatic, they move in close behind it. Flash goes over now. Oh, no. S-Tag, he's uh -oh. molding himself out. He's given Fnatic a bit of a helping hand here. Had to reposition Device holding a tight angle, but it's S-Tag delivering two. Brolin and JW left to try and keep Fnatic in this round, but down goes J-Dobbs. Brolin now needs the ace to secure map point for Fnatic, and it's not going to happen. Magisk finds him 17 to 17. All tied up it's first to 19 let's not forget that so we need two in a row now from either one of these squads to get it over the line otherwise we run train back again uh, if anything as weird as it is i feel like that molotov does actually good things for s tag it, it lands on the site and so fanatic aren't thinking that anyone is playing close they think astralis are, are far back because they spot the orb on top of the back brown train so s tags able to get a you know a lot of damage off from the sidelines no one's even looking at him and yeah i mean who knows if it was down to the molotov but it was a weird placement and not something fanatic are ready for dupree's in the pop bubsky is alongside him playing on the outside Device has Olaf into May. Great grenade. Oh boy, it bounces to the feet of Brolin and does 102 damage across both players there. Boost up for Brolin. He's got 33 kills. Crazy guy. But unfortunately, he's got to hide back in the darkness as these smokes land in his face. The Molotov pushes them out of Maine. And Astralis continue to be proactive on this CT side, taking control away from Fnatic. JW is once again trying to run like this little solo mission down towards Ivy. Now, this isn't really something that's proved to be terribly profitable. So he's going to lean away from that and rejoin the rest of the gang. Bobski, it's like, ooh, I was going to say it's like he knows almost, yeah. but decides against it, goes back down. Utility going in towards this B site. Flush is going to try and sell this fake. It's spammed through the smoke by S tag. No one's over rotated for Astralis. Dupree holding close to Maid oh, and just bomb. such a nuisance. The bomb <laughs> rolls out into the open. Brolin has given that a throw out into the hands of Astralis. It will get retrieved there by Crims, but 20 seconds. He's trying to rotate into B. There's no time. Bobski's taken pop control. He is just an absolute madman. JW and Golden, they're left like. They're just running around. Like, that's literally all you could describe this as. They can't win and they know it. They're looking for kills, not that it's going to carry much weight. And even then, they still get shut down. 18 for Astralis. Match point for the Dane. Series point on the line. They're looking to try and lock in a best of three versus Team Vitality. This is despicable. This is absolute madness right now. And yeah, Astralis, the team that we know and love, or maybe not know, but boy, do we love them. Fnatic, not really feeling as uh, as positive about this one. Now they're, they are up against series point here. At one point, they were in control. At one point, they were ready to close this out. 
16 to 14 and, and head to a third of Inferno. Now they've got to fight for a double overtime. At least we have 16K MR3. They got the money to buy back up. Uh, yeah, that was a great uh, play from Bubsky getting aggressive. Dupree drops the smoke in main at the best possible time. And that just cuts the clock off for Fnatic. Not only do they lose the first man and the bomb without a trade, but yeah, like once that smoke fades, there's just physically no time to get the plant, even if they had the package. So. Yeah, Astralis not falling for any of the fakes that Fnatic are throwing their way. Here we go. This is it. Do or die. Last chance saloon for Fnatic. Or do we run it all back and start it over again? I feel like we've been getting what we want too much. And what <laughs> I want is for it to go again. So, like... You know, maybe it doesn't happen. Maybe our luck finally turns around. Device is spamming the wall bang once again, but this time no one's going to get caught by it. Careful, Flusher. Careful, Flusher. He's trying to time his positioning, right? He hears a shot, he moves. He hears a shot, he moves. But <laughs> oh, why are you even why are you running you. around here? So they drop this first bit of utility in towards B. Now, Golden is still waiting back outside of A to throw in utility. He's going to dump that in now. Trying to give this illusion. It was going to be an A play with a B fake, and Astralis have fallen for it. They rotate device away from B. S-Tag is now here alone. There's three orbs for Astralis. I didn't even realize S-Tag looking to roll back the years and show us what he can do with this orb. Oh, Obsky. Dear. Deleting Crims, JW and Golden, the only hope to keep Fnatic in this series any longer. JW looking for kills. That bomb is out in no man's land. And as these smokes dissipate, the odds of getting it back go down the toilet. JW spotted and finished off by S-Tag. It's Astralis 2-0ing wow. this.